Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss the basics of the CD4017 uh, integrated circuit. The CD4017 circuit is a decade counter which means it's count from 1 to 10. Alright, so that IC is a CMOS type uh, chip that's why it belongs to CMOS 4000 series. So it's count from 1 to 10. Alright, so let's have a look uh, about this IC uh, within the uh, Proteus simulator. Alright, so let me go ahead and open the Proteus simulator here. Alright, okay. Now let me put uh, this uh, 4017 here. Alright, so So this is 4017. If I drag, click and drag here, so you can see the IC like this. All right. So there are some pins here. So let's. All right. Here we go. So we have uh, various pins in this IC. All right. Let's uh, discuss these pins one by one. All right. So first, uh, let's start uh, by. Uh, this uh, Q0 to Q9 pins, all right. So, uh, since this is the uh, simulation model, all right, the mod uh, simulation version of this uh, IC model, don't expect the outputs from 0 to 9, that means 1 to 10, are arranged in this manner, all right. Instead, in the actual IC, the first output pin is number 3 and the second output pin number is 2 and third is 4th and 4th uh, is 7th and 5th is 10th and so on all right so since this is the simulation uh, this uh, model arranged the pins this output pins such a way that it uh, those pins are in order all right but in actual ic uh, this is not the case all right so now in this ic pin number 3 2 4 7 10 1 5 6 9 11 all those 10 pins are the output pins all right so basically when you first turn on this ic with the correct configuration pin number 3 gets high and all the other pins like 2, 4, 7, 10, 1, 5, 6, 9, 11 are low. So when you provide a clock cycle to this pin, the pin number 3 get, gets low and pin number 2 gets high and when you provide the clock cycle again, pin number 2 gets low and pin number 4 gets high. So like that, uh, these outputs getting higher uh, and other outputs getting lower with the clock cycle all right so now these are the output pins all right so now let's discuss the other spins as well all right so obviously you can cannot see the ground pin and the plus uh, voltage in this ic because in the simulated version it is internally connected to VSS and ground. All right, right. Now, next pin is this uh, CO the, the pin that means that is the pin number twelve. All right, CO means carry out. All right. What this basically does is when this uh, when you start counting from one to ten, once you reach the ten. So let's say we are in this clock cycle. Once you reach this, uh, sorry, not clock cycle, this output. Once you reach here, if you provide another clock cycle, this gets back to one, and the CO, that means carry out pin, becomes high. All right. And after that, uh, when you counting uh, through these pins, this CO again gets low. The CO pin gets high 
once you go from 11 the pin number 11 to pin number 3 again so this is the carry out pin so we'll have a look once we wired this and do the simulation let's see how this works all right so the next pin is this e that means 13 pin this is the this is called the clock enable pin all right notice uh, this pin has a round symbol the round symbol means we need to uh, make this negative to do something all right so basically this one is called clock enable all right so in order to enable this pin we need to set this pin to low because this pin expect to work when it's in ground condition you can see the negative logic like thing by seeing this uh, round symbol all right so if you point this pin to positive so your clock will be hold all right so the clock pulse won't transfer to the ic so your counter will uh, freeze here all right right now the next pin is the clock pin that means you have to provide the clock in order to uh, count, start counting with this ic so without this clock cycle uh, clock signal your count won't work all right so next uh, the 15th pin that is uh, master reset so so when you count through q0 to q6 if you put a high pulse to this pin it goes back to zero all right that means pin number three okay so so let's see how this each thing each uh, function works so now one note about this clock pin is that uh, you can use any uh, kind of clock generator or like ne555 or simply multi vibrator circuit to provide the clock cycle all right so you can use a microcontroller also if you need to provide a clock cycle so uh, in future videos i will show you how to create a progress bar with uh, 10 leds uh, using uh, by providing the micro uh, clock by microcontroller and the microcontroller will uh, set the value to progress bar all right so for example the peak 12f615 you can use that uh, chip to create a progress bar because peak 12f675 does not have much pins also the first version of esp8266 also uh, does not contain that much of pins so if you are using that kind of uh, chip you can use this uh, integrated circuit to create a progress bar to uh, notify progress of or something so in future videos i will uh, uh, teach you how to create a progress bar with this chip and the microcontroller all right so let's start wiring all right so i need uh, so now we know we need a clock here all right so let me go to the generations mode all right so generator mode so i'm going to use the clock here so i'm going to put this in all right so if i start this so despite the clock is here the count won't run all right that means we have to uh, wire the others as well all right so for these two so these two i'm going to use a uh, pull uh, push button switches in order to explain the functionality so let me grab the push button switch here all right and also a couple of resistors so so let's see 1k resistor will do so i'm going to use resistors here and 0 0.6 and this is 1k so double tap right all right and i need to have the power pin so like this so i have the power and somewhere i place the ground all right 
All right, now we have the switch and the resistors. All right, now in order to work the clock, we need to ground this one. All right, so I'm going to use a grounding like this. All right, so this is ground. And this is so this one should this all should I this in this pin also should be in ground so if I hide it it becomes reset all right so if I connect like this and start the simulation this should work so as you can see for every positive clock cycle the counter gets uh, increased or so now you can see three pin number four pin number seven and pin number ten pin number one five six now check this c o pin now it's become eleven and when it goes to one the c o pin becomes high all right so that's the carry out pin so you can use another chip or another microcontroller or anything to get this carry out so again you can see this carry out happens all right right now let's see how this e and master reset works all right so now i'm going to use a push button here and connect these two directly to plus all right and same with this one here now start so no uh, magic happening here still everything is same so if I click this reset you can see it goes immediately to zero all right see it's immediately goes to zero that means a uh, we pin uh, three basically it's resets notice the co pin also gets high when you press the reset button see so that's how reset works all right now what about this pin so e so if i click this notice the pin won't reset but instead it holds there all right so if i release it then the counting continues so if i click here again notice though the clock cycle is uh, supplied uh, the counter won't work the counter basically now in hold position uh, it's now acts like there is no clock here all right so if i release it it goes back to normal all right so uh, this is the basics of the cd4017 uh, integrated circuits so this is in the simulation environment so in next video we'll look how this ic works and how the pin arrangement in the real integrated circuit all right so so thanks for watching so this is a kind of short video so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that is fun text with hashan also don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i upload a new video so thank you very much and thanks for watching